Hi, does this sound familiar? A client reaches out to you on a pay-to-play, you know, one of those online casting sites, asking for a sample of your voice, but before you waste your time you want to know more about the project, so you just ask a few basic questions. I mean, if they need to know what you sound like, they can just listen to your demos, right? Why take the time to record a specific audition if you don't know what it's for, what the usage will be, and how much they have in their budget? I mean, I once recorded a long chapter of an audiobook, only to find out that the author wanted to pay me $50, $50 per finished hour. <laughs> of course I should have asked about it earlier, but I was just getting started in my career, and so happy somebody was interested in maybe hiring me. I didn't know what I was doing. There are still unscrupulous clients who request you read the entire script for the audition and you'll never hear from them again. Who knows where your recording will end up? So as a rule of thumb, never read the whole script, no matter what the voice seeker tells you. But if you do, make sure to change the text a bit here and there so it can't be used to create a final product. Got that? Now what do you do when you ask for specs and all you hear is crickets? Should you give up or follow up? In my view, not getting an answer is an answer. Don't make up reasons as to why you didn't hear back. I never try to second guess the motivations of my clients or anyone really. No matter how hard we try, we cannot get into someone's mind and read it like a book. When a ship has sailed that we'd love to have been on, the ship has sailed and we need to focus on finding another ship. Besides, and this is important, the client does not owe you an explanation, so even when they give you all the specs and they listen to your entire custom demo and don't get back to you, let it go, let it go, just let it go, unless the client specifically promised to get in touch with you. But it's not their job to provide you with any feedback on your performance. They don't need to explain to you why you didn't make the cut. Most voice seekers get hundreds of auditions and they don't have time to give everyone a detailed critique. That, my friend, is the job of your voice coach. So forget and reset. And you can't lose a job that was never yours in the first place. Remember this though, every no is one step closer to a yes.